Okay. Hello, boys. Uh, today we are going to study about the chapter to be called as absorption by roots. This is chapter number four in your class ten syllabus. Now, why does the plant need to absorb water? Plant needs to absorb water for so many different activities that it has to carry out in the life of a plant in the body of a plant like for example it has to absorb water for photosynthesis for transpiration for transportation and also for mechanical support now we will try to understand why and how it basically absorbs or carries out the process of photosynthesis our plants absorb water that is carbon dioxide plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air plus water along with the minerals dissolved minerals from the soil and in presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll they manufacture a product to be called as C6H12O6 plus O2 now this product is manufactured through the process of photosynthesis and what is absorbed water along with the minerals is absorbed from the roots okay now second one second point is there is a need for absorption of water for transpiration now what is transpiration when you look at a leaf when you look at a leaf of a plant when you turn it upside down you may have seen small dotted lines dotted marks on the lower side of the leaf if you magnify these dots they are nothing but stomatas they are nothing but stomatas and from these holes when they are turgid a small hole is created and from this hole water vapor what is lost water vapor is lost by the plant from these holes that is water vapor water is lost from the plant in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant and that is known as transpiration for transpiration is a necessary evil because once the water is lost new water will be connected in the plant body therefore water is absorbed up into the plant body therefore transpiration for transpiration water is needed by the plants now next step is transportation now what is transportation is these minerals or the product formed during the process of photosynthesis that is glucose which is formed in every leaf of the plant has to be transported to the different parts of the plant body it has to be where what it should be done it should be transported to the different parts of the plant body and you may have seen in your junior classes if you take a stem of a plant and cut it then you can see the stem of a plant basically has got two portion that is the outer portion to be called as phloem and the inner portion to be called as xylem now what do this xylem and the phloem do the xylem vessel conducts water up into the plant body and the phloem vessel basically conducts manufactured food bidirectional that is it can conduct up also it can conduct down also so transportation of materials that is water and mineral salts from the plant as well as the glucose takes place through this xylem and phloem then the last one obviously is mechanical support now what is mechanical support is once the plant becomes turgid what it becomes once the plant becomes turgid that is when it becomes full then it basically gives a shape what does it give it gives a shape to the plant it gives a shape to the plant therefore it provides support to the plant so as the shape of the plant can be maintained therefore absorption of water and minerals from the roots basically is needed by the plant for photosynthesis for transpiration 
for transportation and for mechanical support of the plant.